everyone, Coop Plays here. Welcome back to Savage Realm. Last episode, we obtained the first white wool, and today we are going to be, um, I wasn't really sure where to go for the next, um, area or whatever, so we are going to be heading back into there and exploring that underneath area, and maybe we will find it there, but first, I've been noticing I've been having trouble mining with these stone pickaxes, so I have an efficiency tool book, and I've gotten some iron. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making an efficiency 2 iron pickaxe. And whenever I need to, I could always just go back and repair the pickaxe with the extra iron ingots that I have. Which are right there. And I haven't needed the instant health potion yet, at least. Don't think I'll need any of this yet. But... Let's head back into this area right over here, and back into the White Wool Dungeon. Um, I've brought along quite a few torches. Oh, I should probably put the Realm Coin away. I don't want to lose that. That is something pretty precious. So let's go over here and climb this ladder. Oh yeah, what about those Life Force torches? I forgot about those that we got in Episode 1. I wonder if like, I have to just right-click them, or if I just hold them. I'll have to experiment with that, but let's put our realm coin back in here. And I don't think that there's, uh, actually, hold on, there might have been a weaponry one in here. Animals, blocks, potions, armor, weapons. So wooden, golden, stone, iron. So it just gives us, um, full set of iron, I think, and then armor, it gets leather, gold, chain, iron. Alright. So, for now, there really isn't much of anything for us to, uh, there really isn't much of anything for us to keep right now. So, well, there's nothing really for us to buy up there, so let's head back into this dungeon now. And we have our staircase that was not the greatest idea for me to take fall there. Let's fall down here, too, because I definitely say that falling is a great idea. And now you can head back down here. Perfect. Uh, I do have quite a bit of good food back at um, my base, so I may want to use that soon enough. And that way I won't have to rely on carrots anymore, because carrots are not the greatest food source. They only restore one and a half hungers, and their saturation really is not that great. So we'll just be living off this bread for now in this dungeon here. Alright, we are making our way back to the fortress, and I think, you know, there was that, I didn't really finish exploring the middle area, so I could go take a peek back in there. Let's see, let's climb up here, R.I.P. Rubisk's brain, and I did go through and loot most of these chests. I have plenty of stone swords on me right now, don't need those. And let's see. There are quite a few spawners around here. Let's, uh, hmm. I'm gonna just build down here, yeah. Oh, gosh, there's a creeper in this corner here. Well. I'm just, uh, um, hmm. I'm gonna take some foodstuffs with me. What do I have for foodstuffs? I'm going to take these two apples, and we are going to head back into this dungeon here, and uh, we are going to get our stuff. Alright, we are basically back here in the, um, here is where I blew up. Let's quickly put on that, and let's Run back here so I can organize hot bar. And that can go right there, right there. Good. Torches. Alright. Let's heal up a bit. And I do have this punch one unbreaking one bow here. Alright. 
All my stuff seems to have gone up there. Ow. That's quick. Let's shoot all of these guys down. All right. And there are a lot of Baka Bowmen. Lots of Baka Bowmen. Uh, I need a better way of... Oh my god, there's so many of them. What the heck? Oh my god, they're just spawning everywhere. My armor is not doing too great right now. Hmm... I might want to invest in some better armor. Well, I can grab these boots for now. There's just so many of those freaking Baka Bowmen. That's honestly, like, I don't even know anymore. That's just so freaking many of them. Maybe heading down this central path the way we were supposed to go would be the best idea. Oh my god, there's another... Ow. Ow. Got another one of those lucky apples. And gone. Good. Good, good, good. We got that spawner down. We're that much closer to a safer area. And let's just pew 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 at these guys right here. Oh, we have more Baka Bowmen coming our way. Come on. Good. Alright, we are running slightly low on arrows, but... Let's quick head down right over here. Oh god, Baka Bowmen! Hello! How are you? I'm running. Goodbye. I'll still pass the... Have a good day. Uh, we, have s we can kill the spiders with the Bane sword. Yes, this, this pickaxe is so much faster. This pickaxe is just... Oh my god, it's amazing. Being able to break a spawner fast is one of your most useful things in a CTM map. Um, quick, let's run up here. We have some Baka Bowmen. We are going to be a shooting gallery, it looks like. Alright, we are safe right here for now. Alright. I do not have pants. And... The Bakas are not dropping pants. So that's a bad thing. Let's just break these spawners. And let's see, is there anything in that central area? I don't it doesn't look like it. it. Doesn't look like there's really any side loot either. So I think we are safe to climb up this ladder and see what awaits us at the top. What's gonna be up here? I wouldn't be surprised if this is like the next like, the next dungeon, I guess. And we are almost at the top, and here we are. Here begins Intersection 1. So we have made it to Intersection 1. Alright. That's... I'll, I'll take it. That's, um... I guess I can sort of just clear this up with mossy stone. Because I would not like lava right now. And what do we have in here? Some snow, vintage beef level 1, sharpness 2, fire aspect 1, wooding 1. I will take that. That will be replacing that Bane of Arthropod sword. And I will be using the Bane of Arthropod sword now. And These are all just mining helmets. And what is this? Plus 2 max health and less knockback resistance. So to the teleportation hub, and that's, I guess that's where we spawn back. Uh, and two more golden apples, that will be useful. And I will take a mining cap. That, that's uh, very useful. That's very useful. And I guess this is the next area. And Oh, what's this? Oh, lag. 
to improve your experience, ensure that view fog is enabled. All right. Details. Where is view fog? Oh God, I'm not gonna find this. I'm probably not gonna find this. Is there anything in these furnaces? Oh, a block of coal, and more coal, and a spider cookie. I guess I will eat that spider cookie. And I'll keep that coal on me. Now I can't... I might need some replacement armor, so I'll just keep all of that on me for now. And I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a dungeon. Let me... Where the heck is the view fog in the settings? Video settings? Performance? No? Other? No. Where the heck is it? No. No. I'm not seeing this view fog. Dropped item. Yeah, I don't see this, so I'm going to have to not use it for this area, whatever it is. So we have... I think this is the next area, but I don't know what this is called. Uh, oh, it looks like there's an area right here. Drought lands. And is this carpet? This is orange carpet, so this is the orange wool. So. Oh. That is dangerous. So this is drought lands. Now, we can go there. We can go there eventually. But I want to head down here. And it looks like we have... Okay, so this is just the intersection. Alright. We have a loot chest right here, which has coal. Blocks of coal. That is very useful. Yes, I've... I, I like that a lot. Put the coal back in there, because I don't really need that. I can just keep it there. And... Let's see. We have a zombie right here. Who can go ahead and just die right now. Ow. Pain. Water. Ow. Pain. And up here we have a villager. Daylight. Oh, we can trade spider cookies. And lucky apples. And creepy powder. Haven't gotten any of that. A bunch of rotten flesh. Bones. And a realm coin. Ooh. 16 bones and 16 flesh? That's a good sword right there. That I like those deals a lot. And it looks as if we have another chest area right here. Let's see, what's in here? We have realm coin. Ooh, more loot. Uh, we may have to move all of our starter stuff up to here. I could put a bit of it in my ender chest. This is a lot of cool loot right here. Let's see, mushrooms. Yes, a lot of blocks. Good, good, good. Some food. Spider cookie. Cake. Uh, let's see, some armor stands. I'll go ahead and place two. And I'll put some block of fleece armor on each of these. Both of those are useful. Block of both. I don't really need any of this stuff right now. And there's some coal, some snow blocks. Let's see. And what is this? Perilous Falls and Shroomy Wonderland. So, this is just the intersection, I guess. I don't really... Is there anything up here? No, it does not look like it. And, okay, this is just a teleporter for the Shroomy Wonderland. And we can go back down there at a later date. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to move some stuff over here. And I will see you guys in, well, soon.